I'll admit it, I suck at goodbyes. My first instinct is always to prolong the inevitable as much as I can, but when I found out my friend Jerry, who you might recognize from my Ricketts Glen video, Yo, be careful. was moving to Hong Kong, I kind of had to come to grips with reality a little bit. With Jerry going to quite literally the other side of the world, I figured this was as good of an opportunity as any to get a little bit better at saying goodbye. I wanted our parting of ways to be special, so I tried to do it in the best way that I know how, which was planning an adventure together one last time. This is our final adventure, our trip together to Chincoteague Island in Virginia. Enjoy. Good morning, happy Saturday. It is Memorial Day weekend, so nice long weekend coming up. And I am picking up Jerry for our last adventure together while he lives here in the US uh, before he moves to Hong Kong. So gonna go grab him and we're gonna head down to Assateague Island. He doesn't know where we're going. He just knows that water is involved in one way or another. So I'm excited to uh, go on this one last adventure together before he moves away. I'm gonna miss him a lot, so hopefully this is a, a fitting conclusion to our sort of uh, adventures we've done together. I picked up Jerry and we set off on our first stop, the small town of Berlin, Maryland. After about two and a half hours of driving southbound, we explored the charming downtown with its local antique shops and restaurants. A particularly comical encounter with a local racist shop owner was enough for us to decide to grab lunch and get out of Dodge. Okay, so we're here in Berlin, Maryland. Uh, it's a really lovely little town. We've just been kind of uh, looking around, walking, and we're looking for some lunch. So we're going to see uh, if we can find something to eat at this uh, J&M Grill, I think. Mm -hmm. So let's go eat. And having fun with some casual racism. Yeah, a little bit, just a little bit of casual racism while we were here, which is pretty funny. Funny for me, not <laughs> as funny for Jerry. It's funny for me too. <laughs> After a less than stellar lunch, we swung by Walmart to get some much needed bug spray. All right, so we went to Berlin, Maryland, had some pretty subpar lunch, and now we're gonna go to Walmart to get some bug spray. Um, because there won't be any Walmarts near where we're going because I actually booked the tour much further south than I was supposed to. So it turns out our road trip is going to be a little bit longer. Yep, you heard that right. During that mediocre lunch in Berlin, I came to a pretty concerning realization. It turned out that the boat tour that I had booked for Assateague Island, Maryland was actually scheduled to depart that evening from Chincoteague Island in Virginia. And if you're not familiar with the geography of that area, that's basically about an hour apart. So our driving was far from over. Also, just a quick note, this is Jerry's first time in an American Walmart, which is amazing to me. And I just really wanted to add that. To it is a big, big supermarket. Probably one of the biggest I've ever been to. It's a lawless land is what it is. <laughs> Once we made it down to Chincoteague, we chose to take the wildlife loop and watch for birds. Afterwards, we drove to the beaches at Tom's Cove, where Jerry got to dip his feet in the Atlantic Ocean one final time. Really? Don't worry, I'll censor the feet. We would also get our first glimpse of what made this area famous, its wild horses. But don't worry, there will be better footage of those coming up. But not before grabbing ice cream. We killed some time at Island Creamery in town before our boat ride at 6.30 p.m. Once we got to the harbor, it was time to see the wild horses up close. You excited to see ponies? Yeah. The boat ride was a blast. The guides were locals and enjoyed talking about their home and its layered history. After seeing them from afar, we finally got a closer view of the lead stallion and his herd of ponies, whose ancestors had been foraging these lands for over 300 years. Seeing all the wildlife from the boat, as well as the beauty of the sunset in the distance, felt like a fitting end to our last adventure together. Look, I know I'll get to see Jer Bear again someday. It's just coming to grips with the fact that he won't be right up the road and we can't just hang out whenever or see each other at the bar after hockey. It has been really tough for me. He's been very kind to me and a great friend since the day that I met him. So losing him for me is like losing family. But I know one thing for sure, having this much fun together on one last trip made saying goodbye for now a little easier. Thanks for watching.